Hello, how are you, Fabrizio? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Very Fabrizio good. Baca, and uh, you're uh, in the design uh, team for the new Fiat 500L, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Beautiful right. car. I mean, look at that roof. I mean, it looks like thank you, very like much. no yeah. roof. It looks like uh, we're outside almost. Um, so it has a little screen, and then yeah. you open up the whole sunroof. Oh, it's on already. I mean, that, that's another. That's one thing with this car. We are that driving the new. 500 L, that new version, the four-door car, and um, very quiet inside. Great design in that term, in in that sense. So, um, tell me about it. It's a, a new product uh, coming from the U.S. from Italy to the U.S. Yeah, actually, it's uh, it's an all-new car that was designed both for U.S. market and European market. Uh, while the first 500 hatch it was designed in Italy and then imported in yeah. the USA like in some years later. This is the first project actually that Fiat developed for both markets. This car uh, in Europe, this car will be big but for the States yeah. it's, it's still yeah, in the it compact, is, is. soft compact uh, that, category. That's true. that's true. It's kind of funny in that way, no? It is, it is but um, we still think that um, we try to give uh, a huge, a, 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 a big room for interior for yeah. Americans and a compact size for the exterior for the Europeans. <laughs> so yeah. uh, I think we we could find uh, the correct balance for Absolutely. this kind of car. And uh, so you're in charge of the of the interior design yeah. of the cars. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's a huge advantage from uh, uh, the Italian uh, company. Like there's always like that feeling of falling in love with anything Italian <laughs> in the States, especially this like food, uh, woman, like the language actually. And then like the, there's a lot of really good design here in the, in the interior of the car. For example, the wheel, right? It's very, spe yeah, very special. Yeah. The steering wheel is special, yeah. We, we started from the um, Fiat Panda concept that is all yeah. squared off and we wanted to like give it um, a comfortable like handling, so it's perfectly rounded and uh, it's in the mm -hmm. but it's squared off in, in the internal part, so that you can see exactly what's what side you are, you are steering, and it's it's framing better the the instrument cluster. And another thing, the choice of materials. I mean, this is not a very expensive car, but the feeling of the yeah. materials is very refined. Yeah, we've been working a lot of this. On, on it. I mean, uh, Fiat is a very important. Uh, it, it's very. Uh, based on its historical like uh, uh, values so yeah. uh, materials and colors are very important for, for us like as as much important as as the shapes so our color and trim department is working so much to give always the best quality actually this is uh, a completely new technology because we had the opportunity for the for it's the first model that that gives uh, two different kind of technologies for, okay. the, for the dashboard. That's this you mean the, the materials yeah. or what? Yeah, there is the, a red uh, version, like this one, uh -huh. and there's also a body color version. Oh, like, okay. With, with, uh, like How big is the team that designs the car? Because you were saying it's designed for Europe, or for other parts of the world too, and the States. So you get a little bit of input from everywhere? Yeah, yeah, we get input from, from both uh, brand department, Americans and Europeans. We've been working with uh, with uh, designers from Chrysler that okay. helped us to to have the feeling of how American expect cars to be. And we are uh, for interior. We were like a team of five, six designers, yeah. and some more 3D modelers, and then they're always two color and trim designers while for exterior yeah also other three four uh, exterior designers yeah uh, so you, you were telling me this is your first time in the states huh yeah it is uh, how it's, you like it how you how oh, you I, compare to <laughs> to italy it. i've been there so like how is are larger the cars are larger so it must be a little bit uh, yeah yeah strange it's, it's huh? strange but still i feel comfortable i feel i don't know I, they they always talking about Italian hospitality, but I think that Americans as as good as Italian hospitality, even well, better I, sometimes. They only been what a week? <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not even. It's like three days, but 
No, I really feel good. People are awesome. They're friendly. I'm, I really feel home here. That, that's great. Um, another thing I'm talking about, about the car. Um, yeah. It's a larger car. It has a 160 horsepower engine. Yeah. Uh, turbo charge. And it's really, really fast. I mean, like, this car can yeah. really move. I mean, being in a large car. Yeah, yeah it does. It does. It, it was... It was tricky because, uh, you know, Italians, uh, European cars, this, this, there has to be a family that, uh, a family car for Europe and a cool and trendy car for USA. Yeah. Because size is different, because in Europe it's, um, it is taking the place of, of uh, like family cars, like Idea, Musa and other yeah. cars that are not in production anymore. So we wanted to give both like the, the sporty and, and the cool side and, and the Italian soul to it and also the functionality and the usability so, so yeah. it is still a Cinquecento but it has more it has a lot of it and that's the thing you were talking about it has the Cinquecento image it's I think you guys did a really good job and the design in, in the exterior too because I was looking one in the rear mirror and it really looks the same it's yeah. just like a bigger size but the car has its own DNA. I mean, it, it like, yeah, that's true. for example, Mini has come up with the original and now the, the other, the Paceman, the Kuma. I mean, they're nice cars, but they look different. Yeah, that's and true. And you have kept the, the image of the car very, very, very nice. nice. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't easy because, you know, Cinquecento is a very strong product. And when you have a very good product such as Cinquecento, it's always hard to, to repeat the success yeah. and, and to give even something more. I think we did a good job both with brand and, and, and ergonomic and, and, and design department to, to develop this, this concept. I think you can still feel a little bit of Italy inside when, when you drive it. Like, oh, like, oh, absolutely. Yeah, as I was saying before, <laughs> yeah. it's a huge advantage because Italy has its sex appeal yeah. for, for the Americans everywhere around the world. So uh, our show here on Sirius XM Radio, it's uh, bilingual in Spanish and in English. Okay. So, but let's make it trilingual. Why can't you just tell a few phrases in Italian about the Cinquecento? Ciao a tutti, sono Fabrizio Vacca, designer italiano da Torino. E siamo dentro la 500L negli Stati Uniti. È la mia prima volta negli Stati Uniti. E mi sto divertendo un sacco, spero che, <laughs> spero che vi piaccia. Il, il design di questa vettura e che potrete goderlo fino in fondo. Mi piace molto, molto? Mi piace molto, Mi sì, piace perfetto. Molto. Grazie Fabrizio. Grazie mille, gentilissimo.